seven i'm the ace in the car pack you're the kings and queens and today what if we guys is a photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make your own mortal kombat youtube banner so if you have a youtube channel that makes mortal kombat videos or any gaming type of videos this is the tutorial that you should be watching the difficulty for this tutorial will be 4 out of 5 stars. Some of the steps I won't go into too much detail, I expect that you already know some of the shortcuts in Photoshop or like how to do certain things and the duration will be 30 minutes. Let's Welcome to the desktop. We're going to get straight into this tutorial by going into Photoshop and opening our YouTube banner template. Now there will be a link in the description below where you can source this one out and yeah this is the one that I use in all my tutorials and hopefully you should already have it if you're a subscriber from the past. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry I just had to spit some goo out. Okay so all the assets will be in the description below for download. Um, they'll come into a folder like this, just with all these fires, this and the preview, obviously. And that's all you'll really need, basically. You'll also need a font called Levi Brush. I'm going to make sure that I have it, which I do. There'll be a link in the description below where you can get that one also. And that's basically it for what I need to address. Okay, so the first step for this tutorial is to go to your assets, which you've downloaded. In the description below and open up these two screenshots we're going to compose the background first of all and then yeah so we're going to bring in this screenshot and drag it into here i'm going to press Control t just resize this one down and place it relatively in the center something like this Okay, I'm going to grab this screenshot now, and this is going to be my fill-in with my other layers. And you'll see what I'm going to do here. So, what I'm, what I'm planning to do is I'll just chuck down the opacity just to check that everything will roll. Okay, I'll press Ctrl T, resize this one up. And keep on resizing, okay. I'm going to then bring back my opacity and press E on my keyboard for my eraser tool and just gently erase all this unnecessary stuff and on this one I'm going to again erase that tree now if I bring this into here I can erase that and then go to my bottom and fill this in and that is going to be nicely filled in, and you can't even really tell the difference, to be honest. Um, it just looks like it's part of the scenery. And we're going to do the exact same, so drag this onto it back here. And I'm going to... Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? For this one, I'm going to use the black one. So I'm just basically composing my background currently for this one. Something like that, and I will erase everything away from here, like that. I'm going to drag this one like that. up and this one will go right below okay so I have my layers in a little formation like this really pretty happy with that maybe I can shrink this one down a little bit Actually, I'll just re quickly do that. Oh, I can actually just see that. That guy's hilarious, by the way. Have you seen McJuggernaut? McJuggernaut, I just watch him for shits and gigs. Okay, um. Mortal Kombat. 
X of Forest. Okay, we're just going to grab up this picture. We just need some trees, basically. This one's not too bad. Right click, save this image as, into my document, assets, and then open this one up. Okay, sweet, and now I can drag this one onto here. Press Control U, slightly saturate it, similar to that one. Don't want much saturation, and I will erase the rest by rasterizing the layer. Okay, so it just looks slightly composed, everything like that, which I'm pretty happy with now. And that's what I was really after. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is do the same on this other side. But before I can do that, I need to like blacken out this area here on this picture. So I simply erase this because of I don't I don't want this shadow to be a part. Of that and this one I need to also erase okay then I'm going to open up this little guy here now this is a JPEG but I like it because of it's a full picture I'm just going to try and I'll just do a selection of this by using my quick selection tool I always do this grab it up and just simply select around here just grab up the character and make it a PNG so we can drag it onto the document. It won't be a two second, I actually might just... Okay, so now I've got my character, just press Ctrl X, press Ctrl V. And just drag this baby on top of everything, it's really nice high definition, so I'll press Ctrl T, resize this one down. Something like that, press control and flip horizontally. And I have something like that. But before I do that, I'm actually just going to get everything that I erased back. So I can start off with a brand new plate. Now with this one, I'm just going to erase all of this plate. You can see the changes that it does to the thing. And finally, I'm going to merge all these together by press Ctrl J, Ctrl G, press Ctrl J, and press Ctrl E, and it's going to be my backup. And then this is going to be backing. Okay. I can hide that backup, backing, whatever you want to call it. Then I'll bring in my character that I've cut in out with my quick selection tool. It's not 100% accurate, but that is fine. Flip that one. Thinking something like that will be will suit nicely. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab up this picture and I just need like a tree stock so I will use this one 
and right click rasterize layer and just I'm just resizing this one onto place. You know what? I'm I don't really need that. Okay, so with my render, I'm going to render this name this as my render layer. And on my backing, I'm going to make a new layer. Press B for my brush tool. Do large size around 600, actually 400. 400 and foreground black and just paint over this slowly bring my render in okay and I'm going to change the opacity on this one to something like that and on my backing I'm gonna press M for my rectangle marquee tool just make a selection over that for gushing blur this one so you can't even really tell that there's like a thing there and then continue to make this darker around that okay now I think that I have in my Tomb Raider. Bear one, final PSD. In this one, I have a nice little tree. Okay, so this is the tree. If I can just move this onto here. Just get some pictures like that. And bring up my hardness, something like that. So now I just have like that tree. So like, it just gives like a sense that he is in front of a tree. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. And I'll also press control on this backing and place one there. Raise the rest. So it just looks like he's behind a tree, everything like that. Now with my render, if I go to the blending options, just add a drop shadow. Something like that, sweet. Okay, now I need to go back to this picture and drag this one onto here. It's going to be this other bit. It's going to be in front of my backing. In front of this, actually. And right click to rasterize layer. And rasterize. Press E for my eraser tool and just take away everything that is like that. I'm going to go on this layer, press B for my brush tool, and just a brush, brush over this. By making the size 300. Okay, sweet. Now, one thing that I have to do is add in this file, and I'm going to spice this thing up later on. 
So to do that, what I'm going to do is go down to my assets provided. It's going to be in here and I've got three different fires. I didn't really know which one would be nice. so I'm just... Okay, so once we have something like this, we are going to bring in our file. So to do this, um, you're going to go down to the assets below and bring in this one. It's fire PNG six, whatever. Press Control T on it and zoom out a little bit. Resize this one down. So we get a size like this. Okay, so there is a multiple things that you can do. You can press Control J, resize it up like this way. And then go to filter blur, blushing blur, and blur this one out. And then it will like create like a slight transition towards that file if you drag it below. And the opacity on soft light, but that's not what we want to do. I have a different method, it's a lot more nice. And yeah, so we're going to make a new layer above our file. Press M for our rectangular marquee tool and just to make a selection around like here. Press G on our um, gradient, just select this standard default, delete this one, drag this yellow one right to that, and drag across like that, press D to deselect, and slowly gradient this one out from our fire. Then move this one below and then go to soft light and you can change this one to soft light so you can see that it slowly like makes the transition from the fire to everything like that also make a new layer go to your foreground color pick like an orange and pick a black go to filter render clouds and they'll render some of those now make sure that you Render those clouds into something like that. Okay, and drop down the opacity and also the soft light or overlay, let me check. Something like that. Drag this one above. You can also go to normal. Simply go like that. Okay, so with our fire, going to go to the blending options with it and do an outer glow where is it here and do the outer glow color to be uh, this color just going to glow it something like that I'm also going to make a new layer go with my brush hold alt and change the size of it to like 600 select something like this and do a couple splodges like that and change the opacity down okay something like that and also on this side okay so we're going to have something like this now with our fire what we can actually do is go with our razor tool and simply erase some of it off onto here so it's just kind of like blurring out onto our document something like that press ctrl J press ctrl T on all those layers and drag that one out so it kind of just adds a transition of file just above here and then you can have your social links all aligned into here going to just group all these and this one is going to be file Okay, and group all of these, and it's going to be backing, sweet, 
render backing back up and great now we can continue to start working on this banner so for the text i'm going to be using levi brush regular again the link will be in the description below to download that and for this one i'm going to do 2k i'm going to go to file open and open up my styles pack now there are plenty of different lay styles um, on the internet i'm just going to be using wolves <laughs> Sorry, I can't provide you a link in the description for this one because I've, I paid for this. So, yeah, that'll just be disrespect against him and not nice. Okay, so with my blending options, I'm just going to quickly change this one. Okay, and go to my blending options again and change this one to radial. and it has to be a reverse. Change the scale up. You can also delete that. Go to linear. Or I can Do something like that, press Control T, resize this one up, and get that. I'm going to move this text behind my render, but in front of my backing. Now for this render, I'm going to right click, click Rationalize Lay Style, and to just erase my drop shadow from the text. And then with my text, I'm going to press Control J and duplicate that. And I'm going to do Zia. I'm going to quickly change the LA on this one to 50 or something like that. Sweet. And go back to my Wolf's one. Go right here, copy layer style. And paste this one onto here. Drag this below my, um, above my 2K, but below my render. And duplicate my render a couple times because of it looks a very opaque. Okay. Press Control T, slightly slant it, and move it there. And with my 2K, press Control T, slightly slant it to move it, something like that. Okay, sweet. Now with my 2K, I can right click and do Rasterize Lay Style. Press Control U, change the color of this gradient to something like this. So we get something very nice and sweet. And below my text, I will just group this into a text layer by pressing Control J. Make a new layer, be low it, and not in there. And press B on my keyboard, grab up a random splatter one, splatter brush, whatever. Change the size of it to whatever needed size. Let's do 350. Going to press once, change the opacity down, and do a little bit more. And another time. And next. Okay. So after I've done that, I'm going to go back in my text, make a new layer below my 2K but behind my Zia. Press B for my brush tool. And do like size 150 whatever and make a slight something like that go to my opacity and turn this one off that's just going to provide a little bit of light you don't need to okay now we have done our text oh we need one little thing here team off okay 
Okay. Team. Just go into capitals. Team. Captain of. Team at 2K. And resize this one down. Okay, and with my VA spacing, I'll do 200. I can delete the team captain because that's poor grammar. Team captain of 2K. And something like that. Okay, sweet. So... There's a little bit of file or something in here. Now I can see that in my, I know that I have something very similar in my small GFX pack. I gave this one back away time ago. I don't know when, I don't know what video it was, but I'm sorry about that. Move this above here, slightly resize this one. I can do normal. Okay, press control U and just to resize, change the color of this one very slightly. Something like that. Press B for my brush tool, eraser tool. Bring up the size. Okay, get something like that. Okay, now I've got that one. Now I know that I have some more ones. Okay, this one shall do good. Just all these little nice little details will add to the final effect. So it looks like Sub Zero there is holding some, like a ice ball, whatever you want to call it, in his hands. Press Control J. And then bam, we've got some little something like that going on. Lower the opacity a little bit to our liking. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my backing layer, go to the size like this, and just make a selection around this tree. Okay, make a new layer. And in, I'm going to change the size of my brush. Press Control Shift I, and see now we can like just make a little light above here. Go to the opacity and change it to whatever you like. Something like that. I'm going to go with. Now I'm going to open up some particles. You should have these um, with your own stuff. Also some sparks, why not? This is an iKings GFX pack. Go to my opacity, change these ones up. Okay. Now for the particles, there are some in here. These are some nice ones drag these onto my document. These will just add in like snow or whatever's gonna happen in the scene. Something nice, very little and subtle. And for shadows, this could go under scorpion. This could ideally be renamed, but it's okay. Something like that raise a little bit go to my opacity and bam now hopefully there's a little flare like this in this pack this could be added into here and i can erase it like that. So it just looks like he's holding something. There we go. And do no color. 
Now for the social links, I'm just going to do some Twitter ones. So in my icon pack. Now one more thing is we can try some magic bullet looks, you never know what might be the end result. So we're going to just shift click group all these, press ctrl J, press ctrl E, turn this one off, press C, crop that out. Go to filter, bullet, bullet looks, and see what we can do with this one. I just like basically going through this one isn't too bad maybe bring it down bring bring up the thing like that and we shall see the final effect like this applied onto it okay great so that is that Thank you so much for watching the tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new and also subscribe if you want daily content. This is one of the more weaker tutorials that I've done, but hey, it's still an awesome style. Sorry that it's like very random, but I just really wanted to do this one, see if I can actually do it. So yeah, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, peace guys.